League's Cup, a brand new tournament set to take MLS by storm. Every single MLS club, every single Liga MX club, three countries, two leagues, and only one tournament. I mean, it's everything we've been asking for. But wait, did anyone actually ask for this? Let's be straight up. MLS is an innovative league. From its conferences to its sponsorships and their playoff format, MLS just does things differently. And this is just another one of those moments. It doesn't matter if people wanted to actually see a League's Cup type tournament or not, MLS is going to do it anyways, which can be a good thing, don't get me wrong, but it can also have its downsides because you never know what to expect. Now, if you haven't heard of League's Cup yet, surprise, it's here. For the next month, MLS will be taking a break from their regular season play as every club gears up to take part in this month-long tournament between League MX and MLS. We've had quite a bit of time to digest this idea since it was first announced last September. Therefore, let's take a look into what this tournament is, how it's going to play out, and why I'm not totally convinced by it just yet. To begin, let's look at the basic format. As I said before, every single MLS and Liga Mekis club is participating in this tournament. Therefore, with the 29 MLS clubs across both the United States and Canada, along with the 18 clubs from Mexico, we're left with the 47 team tournament, which means Leagues Cup has a huge group stage. There are 15 groups with at least one representative from each league in every one. <laughs> The majority of the groups include two MLS clubs and only one Liga MX club, but there are a few groups that are the other way around. Along with that, you have both Pachuca, the current Liga MX champion, and LAFC, the current MLS Cup champion, getting a buy through to the round of 32. The group stage is pretty straightforward, where the top two clubs from each group qualify into the knockout stage. And then from there, it's a fixed bracket with one-off games that lead up until the final. There's also other obscure rules such as tied games in the group stage ending in a penalty shootout. So what issues do I have with this whole idea? I mean, it seems like an okay thing, right? Well, I'm not 100% bought in. I think my first issue comes with the fact that we have yet another tournament that pits MLS against Liga MX. It seems like every year, MLS and US soccer for that matter, try to create a new platform where they can exploit the rivalry between the two leagues and the two countries. In their mind, it's a well that brings huge moments and most importantly, money. But when they create so many manufactured competitions just to get that extra payday, I think the well dries up pretty quick. Take for example, the international stage. Gold Cup, awesome. Nine times out of 10, USA versus Mexico. For a trophy too, sign me up. Oh, and then a few weeks before the Gold Cup, we now have the Nations League. Okay, typically another USA versus Mexico showdown. But hold on, then they introduce the annual All-State Continental Classico, a literal one-off match that gives us yet another USA vs Mexico for no apparent reason. And that's not even taking into account that this isn't during an official FIFA sanctioned window, therefore it literally is the B-side of each team. Now we're pushing the line, but hey, don't forget, we got that sponsorship money so thank you All-State. You get the point. So now let's look at MLS. First off, we have the CONCACAF Champions League or what is now known as the CONCACAF Champions Cup. That should be the prime setting for MLS versus Liga MX. Those games are tough. The games are two-legged and we also get to see different clubs from Central American countries like Honduras, Costa Rica, or El Salvador. I mean, to me, that's the perfect tournament to showcase the side of MLS versus Liga MX. We also have Campeones Cup, which is the champions of Mexico and the champions of MLS coming up against each other for another trophy. This is another tournament that I'm kind of okay with. I mean, it is a bit weird, but sure, go for it. And then we have the MLS All-Star vs. Liga MX All-Star Games. I mean, I get that they're not doing that this year, but they did it for two years in a row, and I would not be surprised if it made a comeback eventually. I mean, it's another way for them to keep wringing out this cross-league towel. Just like the All-State Continental Classico, this feels like it's quantity over quality at some points. And now we have the Leagues Cup, which feels like just another tournament that has been created in the hopes of getting more out of this system. 
It feels lazy to me. Let these matches happen naturally when it comes down to it in the CCL. I don't really need or care, to be honest, to see MLS take a whole month off just to cram in some more interleague matches. And that's not even considering that we're literally getting every single MLS and Liga and Mekis club in this. Don't get me wrong, I love MLS and all the clubs a part of it. But some teams are just straight boring to watch. At least in CCL, it's typically the best of the best from each country, and it's only a select few. That makes me interested in seeing how these clubs match up, and it brings importance to the games because each team has earned their way to get that opportunity. But why would I care to see the bottom feeders of Liga Emekis play the bottom feeders of MLS? Some of these matches in these group stages are just not enticing whatsoever. No offense, but Charlotte FC vs. Nakaxa, the New York Red Bulls vs. San Luis, those are just not appealing to the average viewer, and I have trouble thinking there will be many who will go out of their way to watch those matches unless they support one of those clubs. There are honestly so many clubs in MLS that I myself struggle to know the ins and outs of each one. So when you throw in a dozen smaller Liga Emekis teams, I'm even more lost than before. And let's go back to that New York Red Bulls game. That group that those teams are in is named East 4. Now I get that this is just nitpicking here, but saying, dude, I can't wait to see how East 4 plays out sounds extremely dumb. Not only do some of the groups make me uninterested, but having the names of each group be South 2, Central 3, West 1, it makes everything seem even more obscure than it already is. It's the byproduct of having everyone join this tournament. There are way too many teams to shove into this one month long tournament. It's hard to build excitement and it's honestly difficult to follow. In the promotional content for League's Cup, they repeat the phrase new rivalries, but I would be surprised if we see any actual new rivalries come from this. In most situations, it will be the first game between these clubs and after that one game, it's over. Unless a club continuously draws themselves against the same club every year, which is unlikely with 47 different clubs, then it's really just one and done scenario. But hey, let's say these clubs do keep finding themselves against each other year after year. Do we really think one meeting a year is going to fuel a rivalry? I'm not buying that. I think this is exactly what is going to be the issue with League's Cup. I just can't see many neutral supporters really caring. Of course, the hardcore fans will pay attention, especially if their club gets to host some of these games, but it seems very one-sided, especially when you consider that the tournament will only take place in the United States. Part of the fun of watching MLS vs Liga Emekis is seeing the different environments that teams have to face. The Azteca, Estadio BBVA, Leon, these are places I want to see games at. But with the US hosting every game throughout the whole tournament, we are deprived of one of the most appealing aspects to this rivalry. Now yes, I get that it's easier and cheaper to host all the games in the USA, but still there has to be a better solution. I think that this whole situation is a large factor as to why there are reports that Mexican supporters are not really excited for this tournament. In an article with World Soccer Talk, it's been reported that television broadcasters in Mexico are uninterested in broadcasting League's Cup, which has resulted in Apple and MLS doing a full 180, announcing that the tournament will be on MLS Season Pass in Mexico, after previously stating that it would not be. I think that Mexican clubs and supporters are struggling to really care for this tournament because they don't feel that involved. And to go on from that, I can't confidently say American supporters will feel involved either. We've seen poor attendance in CCL for years, whether it's Liga MX vs MLS or not. For some reason, the general American fan base only really cares for MLS play. So will a brand new tournament against some of the lesser known Mexican clubs really bring out a crowd? Once again, it's something I can't really see happening, except for those larger clubs like Club America and Tigres. But anyways, that's enough complaining. On to the parts I like about League's Cup. One, I'm happy that this is the league merger that we've heard rumored for years. As long as MLS and Liga Mekis do not fully merge as one, I can live with a month-long tournament. Another smart choice by the creators of this tournament is to have MLS and Liga Mekis pause their season for the duration of League's Cup. Now, of course, they only did this so these clubs couldn't use the excuse of saving their best players for their domestic season, but still, I'm glad we've set these two things separate from each other. 
And finally, I'm happy that this new tournament will help expand the CONCACAF Champions Cup. Again, I think the Champions Cup is the holy grail for a continental competition in North America. So with the top three teams from League's Cup earning a spot in the Champions Cup, I think it's a good incentive for all these clubs to go all out. Now, of course, all these issues I have with the tournament come from me not actually seeing what League's Cup will actually be about. There's a good chance that come the end of this tournament, some of the points I've made in this video will be null and void, and I hope that's the case. I'm aware I'm being very skeptical of League's Cup at the moment, but of course, I want to enjoy it just as much as I want to enjoy everything else in our soccer sphere. So, with all that being said, I'm excited to see how this next month of action goes. And I'm ready to see what League's Cup can bring to the football culture that's brewing in North America.